G'day guys, this is Tom from Bathy Maps. Uh, this tutorial is to show you how to use the offline app um, with your tablet or your mobile phone while out on the water in limited or no reception. Just before we get into the detail of the app, I just want to explain the difference between the offline app and our online maps available at www.bathymaps.com.au. Now the offline app is designed for limited or no reception use out on the water. So basically you're downloading a heap of information um, and maps to your device, your specific device like your tablet or your phone to use out in the water when you don't have any connection to the internet. So we've designed the app to have just the data and the tools that you need to use the maps on the water. It does not have the full suite of data and tools available on our online maps. So if you want to do your uh, pre-trip planning um, or you're just browsing all of our data and our maps available for all regions of Australia, I encourage you to use the online maps at www.bathymaps.com.au. So now let's go into the detail of using the offline app. Okay, so after you log in, you will be prompted to download layers for your area of interest before you can proceed. So what you're doing here is you're downloading the maps to your device. So just select OK, zoom into the area, your local area. Now when you're downloading maps, you don't want to download a huge area because that's going to be a lot of data, gigabytes and gigabytes of data. And um, depending on the device you have, it could make your device crash. So the idea is to download, you know, an area where you're going to be fishing in on a particular day or weekend or trip. So, and you can download multiple areas. So you can download, say, this area here. So we'll just, down, we'll just download that because we're going to be fishing out here. Down, press download extent and then you select the layers that you want. Now I suggest only downloading the layers that you need for a particular trip. So if you're going to be fishing out wide near the shelf, say for example, you can select the deep layer. I'm going to be doing a bit of top water, so I'm going to select top water and um, I'll just select magma because it's like a general layer. Paleo is for inshore fishing. I'm not going to be doing any inshore stuff, so I'm not going to download to my device for this trip. Click download and it will start downloading your layers. Now I'm doing this demo on the Android app, but on the iOS app, this will look slightly different. Now it could take a few minutes for this data to download from our servers to your device. So basically what's happening is the maps are being cut to the extent that you selected. So that blue box uh, packaged up and sent to your device. So it could take a few minutes, particularly if you're downloading a larger area. So please just be patient and wait for the download to finish before opening or closing the app or doing anything. Okay, now that that data has downloaded, you can go to the, um, the layer list menu up here and select the layers that you downloaded. So if you select the um, deep, you'll see that it's downloaded that area. Magma and top water, paleo, nothing will come up because we didn't actually download anything. Now, as you can see, there's this red box here. Now the red box um, is basically the area where the map was downloaded in detail. When you turn the layer on, you'll see that there's map area outside of that red box. Some of the map has been downloaded, the higher zoom level tiles, um, but when you zoom in, the detail won't be there. So you only get the detail inside um, that red box at high zoom levels. Now say that you want to download another area, you can actually go in and download multiple areas. So I can download another area here. Okay, so you can see now that I've downloaded two areas, um, and this is a feature of the new app, is you can download one area here, one area here, you can download a small area there, small area here, so it stops you from having to download one big, huge area. You can just download a few smaller areas um, of places that you're gonna fish, either over a weekend or over a week fishing trip or whatever and it um, decreases the actual size of the data that you need to download to your device um, and it makes the downloads faster so we encourage you instead of downloading one big area just download smaller areas that you actually need because remember you can jump onto the online maps when you're at home and look at any area you want this is specifically designed for using on the water when you're um, fishing so just to um, take the pressure off your device and off the app, just download areas that you need. Okay guys, now I just want to go through some of the other features. Um, so in the layer list here, you can see that the zoning and other data is available. So you can turn these on and off and you can also turn the contours off if you want to. So that's in the layer list here. <coughs> the coordinate feature, if you select the coordinate button, 
it'll bring up your coordinates that you currently uh, of your current location um, and then if you select if you actually press on this coordinate button here it'll change between de de decimal degrees degrees minutes seconds and degrees minutes so just pick the desired format that suits you and you can also turn that off if you don't want it visible on the screen now this button here is the track record button so you can you can record your track um, so there we go you press it and you also have an arrow that points in your current heading so it'll point you in the direction you're currently heading in now when you record um, a track you see here save track successfully it'll show up in your actual track here so you can turn that on or off you can edit the name of it you can delete it and you can also download the track by selecting it and then selecting download you can also upload existing tracks from say your um your chart plotter on your boat if you have some tracks that you want to upload you can actually upload those um and same with gpx so there's no gpx data in at the moment or waypoint data but you can upload a gpx file to the app so if you have marks on your um, chart plotter that you want to upload or if you download your marks from your online account and then upload them to your app you can also do that as well um, and if you can also download um, whatever waypoints you have marked on the device so the next thing i want to show you is this geolocation button here so basically if you select that button you can move between um, the app will follow your current location if you select that button again you can change it to this crosshair and you can move it you can move it based on moving around on the app using your finger rather than if you select it again i'll just show you it'll move the app will move to your current location so this one's good for just marking areas um, that aren't your current location so for example what is one of marks and bombings here i'll just move the crosshair there and then i'll select the mark button add waypoint button select that and it adds a waypoint and then if we go to our gpx menu here we'll see that that waypoint has come up in our list here now the last thing i just want to show you say you've downloaded a few areas to your device and you're not going to be fishing this area anymore i'll just turn the light up just so you can see go to paleo so you can see here you've got two red boxes so i'm not going to fish in this area anymore and i just want to get rid of it to free up spaces of my device all you do is you use hold down on that area so you just put your finger on that area and hold down and then you can select deep magma top water and then select delete area and that will delete that area from your um, device and now you only have this one area here so that's how you manage the areas that you've downloaded on your device and then I might want to go back and download a new area over here somewhere